In this video, we'll take a look at how to use this new Ant Genoma 2 preset. You can download the model and the preset, the Genoma 2 preset, from the 3dxyz.pro website uh, by Stephen Scott. Thank you, Stephen, for hosting uh, those presets, those beautiful presets, and thank you for the incredible job you're doing for our community. Many thanks to Lorenzo Zitta for this beautiful 3D model. I've been using this model to develop the Genoma 2 preset for this ant. So let's hide the sub patches and let's take a look at the rig. A Genoma 2 rig is composed by skeletons basically, but very special skeletons. Each element contains all the information needed to build the rig in layout. So, for example, if we select this skeleton here and then click on properties, well, we can see all the information related to, to it. So, its name, its parent, and many other things like, you know, motion option for position, rotation, scale, uh, anything, anything related to, to this item. We'll go through those options in some other video. Uh, at the moment you don't need to, to know anything about it to be able to use the preset. The number of items the user needs to edit to adapt the rig to his model are really reduced to a minimum. Any modeling tool can be used to edit the giant positions. In this case, I'm using the drag point tool with symmetry on to change the position of the joints of this preset. Let's undo this since, of course, uh, this rig is already adapted to, to our mesh. All we need to do to create the final rig is to send the object to layout. It must be one layer, so all the, the genomic preset needs to stay in the same layer of, of the mesh. And all you need to do is to click on create rig. Let's take a look at the controls we can use to animate this rig. Let's start with the master, this big circle here. It can be used to move the whole rig in the scene, rotate it, or scale it. Then we have the root. The root can be used to move the whole body around. We have inverse kinematic working on the legs, so the legs are staying uh, in place. Uh, whatever you do with the, with the root, you can rotate it or move it around. All along the body we can find other controls. For example, this box here is there for the tail and this one is for this part of the body. All around the body we can find uh, several controls. For example, we can use this box to rotate the abdomen, this circle here to rotate the last part of the abdomen, this green circle is for the cephalothorax, then we have the control for the neck and the control for the head, Let's disable one X-ray and let's take a look at the controls for the feelers. You can rotate the several parts of the feelers here. And of course the mandible. In this case, I'm noticing that all the channels, the rotation channels, are active, while we need only the pitch to be active. Of course, we can correct this 
from layout but I'll show you how to do that uh, in the genoma rig and modeler so you can uh, have this change propagating to any generated uh, rig now let's take a look at the legs the controls for the legs you have three controls for each leg and you can uh, freely pose the leg without any limitation selecting this box we can move the leg around of course we can rotate the box to adjust the alignment of this element then we have this control here we have one for each different leg you can use it in two ways if you rotate you are rotating this uh, bond here so you can see how it reacts to the rotation we can also move this control to orient the whole leg there is an additional control here and it can be used to pose the leg so we have full control over posing the legs which is very important especially for you know this kind of character in the next video I'll show you how you can customize any control changing uh, its shape and color and even locking the channels you're not going to animate thanks for watching